everyone today i am going to tell you a story called bombi by disney junior one spring morning there was great excitement in the forest animals and birds hurried to welcome the new prince his name was bombi he was the son of a noble stag the great prince of the forest bombi lay fast asleep by his mother's side when he woke up and blinked his eyes the little spotted fawn saw happy smiling faces all around him my name is tampa said a friendly rabbit bombi smiled it wasn't too long before bombi was ready to explore the forest Mother Quill and her nine babies passed by. Good morning, young prince. They called. Good morning, cried another voice above Bombi's head. He looked up and saw a mother opossum and her three babies. They were hanging by their tails from a tree branch. The forest is a wonderful place. said bombi to himself one day bombi and tampo were playing happily together birds sang and fluttered over their heads tampa pointed at one and said that's a bird bombi repeated the word bird then a butterfly fluttered by bombi called out bird no giggled tampa That's a butterfly. Bombi turned to pretty flower and shouted, "Butterfly!" Tampa laughed. "No!" he cried. "That's a flower." Bombi bent down to smell the flowers. Suddenly, a small black and white head popped up from under the petals. "Flower!" said Bombi again. That's not a flower. That's a skunk. Tamper laughed. That's all right. The little skunk said shyly, "He can call me Flower if he wants to." The day passed happily for Bombi. One morning, his mother took him to a new place, the meadow. The meadow was wide and open and covered with flowers. Bombi's mother warned him. that they had to be very careful there are no trees to hide us she said bombi ran off into the tall grass to play soon he found a little pond he leaned over and looked into the water at his own reflection suddenly another reflection appeared it belonged to a female fawn about the same age as bombi The female fawn smiled at Bombi and wagged her tail in friendship. Bombi felt very shy. He ran back to his mother and tried to hide. "It's all right," Bombi's mother said. "That's fine. She just wants to be friends with you. Go and say hello." Bombi went back to Fallen. They chased each other around the meadow. Soon The two fawns were laughing and playing hide and seek in the tall grass. Just then a group of stags charged across the meadow led by the great prince. He had come to warn the deer that there was danger nearby. As the deer dashed towards the trees, Bombi couldn't find his mother. He began to panic. The next moment his father was beside him. Bombi followed the great prince into the forest and was overjoyed to see his mother was there too later that day bombi asked his mother what the danger had been man was in the forest she told him summer and autumn passed and the weather grew colder one morning bombi woke up to find the world had turned white Bombi's mother saw his surprise. That's no, she said. 
winter has come as bombi walked out into the deep crispy blanket of snow his woof sank into it the young fawn was having great fun making who friends when he heard thumper calling him that's water stiff called thumper come on you can slide too bombi rushed over to join him but his woofs were too small to balance on the slippery surface he fell on to his tummy with a loud thud thumper showed bombi how to balance on the ice soon the young prince was gliding gracefully across the pond to winter was fun at first but as time passed by there was less and less food all the animals grew hungry eventually there was nothing for bombi and his mother to eat except the bark on the trees one day when the air felt a little warmer bombi and his mother went to the meadow in search of food there they found a small patch of green grass peeping out of the snow bombi and his mother ate the grass hungrily suddenly bombi's mother looked up and sniffed the air she sensed danger go back into the forest she ordered bombi quickly run bombi raced across the meadow with his mother close behind him there was a loud bang faster bombi and don't look back his mother shouted as he ran there was another loud bang bombi was too terrified to look back he carried on to the forest where it was safe home at last bombi turned to look for his mother but she was not there bombi's heart thumped with panic he called out again and again mother mother the little fawn began to cry just then his father appeared by his side your mother cannot be with you any longer he told bombi gently the great prince would now protect his son until he could look after himself as the months passed bombi grew into a fan ang stag one sunny spring day he flower and thumpa was strolling through the forest together suddenly flower spotted a pretty female skunk he crept over to her and the two animals giggled as their noses touched oh no said thumpa flower stitter patted all said it happens to everyone in the spring time it won't happen to me bombi said firmly me neither thumpa agreed minutes later a lovely female rabbit hopped over to the thumper he was delighted twitter patted sighed bombi as he carried on alone through the trees bombi stopped to drink at a small pond a soft voice said hello bombi he turned round and saw a beautiful female deer it was fallein his childhood friend fallein leaned over and gently licked bombi's face he was surprised at how much he liked it he would become twitter patted to just then a young stag called rono appeared and shouted fallein is coming with me bombi knew he had to protect fallein lowering his head he charged at rono a fight began again and again the two stags charged at each other although rono was stronger bombi was determined to win with a mighty toss of his head bombi finally threw rono to the ground rono limped away now bombi and felain were free to begin their new life together the warm days of spring and summer passed happily for bombi and felain early one autumn morning bombi was woken by a strange smell he climbed to the top of a cliff high above the forest he could see smoke in the distance just then his father came up beside him man has returned he said those are his campfires we must go deep into the forest quickly 
Bombi rushed back to warm Fallen. He found her trapped on a cliff ledge. A pack of angry hunting dogs snapped at her heels. Bombi rushed at the snarling dogs. Fallen managed to escape and ran towards the river. Bombi fought off the dogs and turned to follow Fallen. Suddenly, he heard a loud bang. He felt a terrible pain in his shoulder and fell to the ground. Bombi was too weak to move and suddenly he saw flames coming towards him. Man's campfires had set to the forest on fire. Get up, Bombi! A voice cried. We must go to the lake. Follow me. Bombi opened his eyes and saw his father beside him. The young prince struggled to his feet and followed his father through the burning forest. Eventually, the stags came to a huge waterfall and jumped. Down and down they fell, crashing into the water far below. Bombi and his father waded through the water and headed towards an island. Many other birds and animals had already found shelter there. Fallen was there too. She was overjoyed to see Bombay again and gently licked his wounded shoulder. Safe on the island, the forest creatures watched helplessly as the fire destroyed their homes. When the fire finally burned out, the animals returned to the forest. After a long, hard winter, spring arrived. New grass and flowers grew where the fire had been. The forest was beautiful once again. One warm morning, all the animals and birds came to see Fallen and her two new fans. Standing nearby was their proud father, Bombi, the new great prince of the forest.